What is the soul? If you found out that inside you there is something more intelligent than yourself, more loving than yourself, and more powerful than yourself, would you be happy about it? This actually exists. It's the human soul. I'm Cavalier, a psychological processes designer, and I am going to explain to you in very simple words what is the human soul. In previous videos, we have already seen that the personality and the lessons we've learned in childhood must be left behind because they prevent you from finding out who you really are. We have seen that morals must be superseded because morals forbid most of the things the soul orients us to do. We have also seen that the positive thinking is but another moral system and that the law of attraction is the use of a psychological technique to satisfy the ego's desires. Finally, the esoteric teachings that equate following the intuition or the heart to following the soul are false. Because as Jungian psychology teaches, intuition and feelings are parts of the ego as much as reason is. Watching my videos, some people said they felt sad, some disappointed, and some desolated. I asked them why, and they answered. Because the methods for following the soul I believed in just don't work. This is all very disappointing, I admit. When I heard people expressing their feelings, I felt very much like them, because I have lived this desolation myself. I began to study history, theology, and holism at the age of eight. But I only started to learn how to follow the soul when I was 17, when Nietzsche burned the religious and holistic morals I believed in to the ground, and the Jungian psychology taught me a practical way of doing it. But up to that point, nine years had been wasted. Beyond desolation, I felt rage due to the sensation of time lost. Just as anyone else, I asked myself, what should I do? First of all, it is very important to say that the sensations of disappointment and of not knowing what to do are extremely valuable and healthy. These are the sensations that make us leave behind the methods that took us nowhere and really start to follow the soul. In a way, this is what Jung called a moral defeat. The understanding that the things we were sure to be right are not going to take us to the soul. For that reason, I just can't believe in methods that promise easy ways to reach the soul, such as reach your soul in only three steps, or reach your soul participating in a one weekend workshop. When a person comes to my consulting room and admits to believing in easy methods of following the soul, my answer is always the same. I suggest you go and experiment these methods first. If they work, you will be satisfied. If they don't, and you become disappointed, come back here. Most people come back. You won't be disorientated forever, though. It is a fact that the soul destroys the orientation systems created by the human beings. But the soul does that because it has its own orientation system. The soul will guide you step by step. The system that the soul uses to guide you is the collection of archetypes. But what is an archetype? One can say the archetypes are the various parts of the soul. Since the soul is too divine and too complex, 
It is difficult to understand all this greatness at once. Therefore, the soul usually activates one archetype at a time. It shows that to you through dreams. This way, it becomes more comprehensible. Carl Jung demonstrated that archetypes are psychological patterns that rule all people from all places and all times. They function as models of psychological development for all people. For instance, one of the archetypes is the Great Mother. It defines that all people from all places and all times will have some kind of experience with a human mother. Since the archetype's interaction with each person is unique, that experience can be anything from extremely positive to extremely negative, or it may even be the experience of not having a mother figure at all. But every person will somehow go through it. This experience develops important parts of their beings. Another example. At some point in childhood, the soul activates the hero archetype. This archetype will make you develop a strong ego to grow as a person and to succeed in life. And since the archetype's interaction with each person is unique, each person becomes strong in a very particular way. Some people succeed on it, and some of them not so much. But every person receives this powerful stimulus. The activation of several archetypes occurs throughout the whole of the individual's life and is one of the most important ways through which the soul guides you. If you dedicate yourself to a psychological process, you will certainly be able to recognize the presence of archetypes inside of you. Talk to me. Agree or disagree with me on the comments. In the next video, I'll talk about the relationship between the soul and prejudice. Subscribe to the channel and watch the next one.